Android System Web View is a pretty important part of the Android operating system, and as such, you should probably not play around with it or delete it in any way. If you're wondering exactly about what it does, well, you've probably seen it in action quite a few times. Whenever you are inside an app and a button inside redirects you to, say, a web browser, it uses WebView to achieve that, basically displaying web content within an app. So it's not something that is critical to the Android system. At the same time, you can see how many apps would stop working properly if it was removed from your device. It was released alongside Android 4.4 KitKat back in 2013. As it wasn't part of the key Android system, it can be updated independently of the core OS. So that is why sometimes you can see the Play Store downloading an update for this app. Now another thing about it is that you can also choose which browser it uses. It can either use just the default web view view or it can also use whatever default browser you have on your device and you can see exactly what it is running by tapping on its three dots in the top right and it will say what browser is currently powering it. If it doesn't list a browser, it's just using default web view. These tabs are usually much better than regular web view because they allow a lot more customization on the side of developers. What's more, if it uses a web browser that you have already saved a lot of your info to, you don't have to retype emails or passwords, anything like that when interacting with these windows that pop up after you tap something inside some app. With all of that combined, it is therefore very much not recommended to turn this off given how many apps can rely on web view. So hopefully you found this video informative and if you have, maybe subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.